my mother told me, said, go up and have your throat prayed for so that your tonsils was bad. And I came before the lady evangelist and she said, son, what's the matter? I said, I want my throat prayed for. <clears throat> she prayed for my throat and I started to walk right around her, but before I could, she said, wait a minute, son. <clears throat> there is something wrong with your right eye. It looks like it's crossed. She said, what's the matter with it? I said, I'm blind in one eye. She said, son, raise your hands and close your eyes. Believe God with all of your heart, and we're going to pray, and you're going to see. I've done what she told me to do. She laid hands on me and prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, devil, you're a liar. I command this blind eye to see. And God heard that prayer of faith and gave sight where there was no eye to see by the miracle-working power of God. I looked in his orbit with the plastic prosthesis removed, and he has no eye or no eye tissue, no remnant of eye tissue, nothing there. It's just a, a plastic implant in his eye. And I want about six or seven people right now to get some reading material. Get something like a social security card, driver's license, songbook, pamphlet, leaflet, something that's readable and stand to your feet and bring it up here. This will help you and this will be a blessing to you. Just take it out and bring it right up. And form a line right behind this gentleman. Thank you. So now you see that it's completely and totally impossible for anyone to see through two pieces of plastic when their eyeball has surgically been removed from their eye, like Ronald Cohen says. Now, you people that are in this line, God in heaven knows I have never seen your material. I have never planned anything with you, spoke to you, and you do not work or travel with me. Is that right? Amen. Have I ever spoken to you before? Have I ever spoken to you? That's a clean folded man's handkerchief folded 16 times. Hold that up to the light and see if you can see through it. Can you see through that? I want you to look and see that there's nothing in here that looks like an eyeball. Can you see that? I made it a point to go up there and be absolutely positive that his good eye was bandaged. He uses a whole roll of adhesive tape, taping down a, a handkerchief over his good eye. But I wanted to be sure because, you know, you can look around bandages if they're not well taped. So I examined very carefully the bandage that he had over his good eye. And there was no way in the world where he could see around it. In fact, he invited me to put extra tape on it if I wanted to. And I think I did put several pieces of extra tape to be sure he was not seeing with his good eye. And then he demonstrated that he could read what anyone brought him. I mean, uh, license, driver's license cards or social security cards or anything you give him with a long string of numbers. He could read anything that was brought to him with an eye that was not even there. So Arkansas driver's license number 0560-5687. Medford, William Medford, 154, not away or something like that, West Helena, Arkansas, is that right? That's right. So Lowe's credit card, Maxi J. Cook, number 8590181-0089563. Hallelujah. Raise your hands and praise the Lord. Is it a trick? Well, if it is, we weren't able to find out about it or how he did it. It could be ESP or some form of psychic ability. We know Ronald Coyne is not an ordained minister. We cannot be sure, though, that a miracle really occurred. We do know that Ronald Coyne had no previous knowledge of the cards he read with his eye covered. Just as quietly found...